business of performance is probably the biggest unanswered question. I don't think it's not a, it's not an unanswered question oh. at all. I mean, if you think about it, everybody has systems in place to collect and manage revenue streams in particular territories. The problem is having pan-territory unified licensing schemes where you can go one place, get rights, pay money, and have it distributed. That's really the problem. If you're in Europe right now, you want to do a web-based radio system, you can't do it. You, you have to go to every single you know, territory and get something going. A company like Pandora is in a position where to get a, a, a program out and running in, in England, they have to deal with lots of different rights, and, and just, that's just in England. Are you talking about Europe alone? It's, gonna, it's, 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 it's really messed up. Some of this stuff is so complex, it, and it has to do with the thing we were talking about this morning, is all this stuff was territorial-based. It came off of territorial-based distribution. In, in, in the hard goods world, everything was territorial. In the digital world, that Nothing all, is territorial. Nothing is territorial. Right. That's the crux of the, the, the problem. It has to do with being able to deal with the fact that nothing is territorial, and everything that we've done in the past is based on, on, on territories. Is that a fair? Yeah, I think it was based on territories. It was based on samples. And now you're going into a world where you have real, real data about everything. And you, you are pan-territorial. You can't, in other words, you can't, on the internet, everything is everywhere, right? Unless you block it. So that I can like, you know, coming up here today, I was listening to TuneIn, um, which is an application, you know, on your smartphone, where I can listen to 88.5, which is... Uh, Cal State Northridge's radio station all the way up here. I mean, that's bizarre, right? I mean, you, there's no real radio anymore, local radio. If you want to listen to, you know, a station in Northridge in Boca Raton, you can do it. Yeah, as long, right, as, as long as you got the net protocol. Right, but everybody does. I mean, we have, the world is now pretty wired. It's pretty wired. Well, there you go. Well, that's a $64,000 question, actually, was that said you got it there in the day. In the very bit, and that's why everybody's trying to figure out. And that's what screwed everything up. And, and the issue is, I don't think the issue is, is going to be solved anytime really soon either. I think it has to be. I, I don't think it can last another ten years. I mean, within five years now, there has to be some sort of system that's set up to allow people to have pan territory. In other words, okay. you know, uni worldwide. <laughs> okay. I mean, do you believe that to the point that that you could go to uh, uh, the the folks at BMG that are making all these you know, guesses that everything's going to turn around here and, and the, you think it's going to turn around and they'll have answers to these questions in five years? You yeah, think these I guys do. are making... I do. I think, uh, I okay. think that you will have answers to the fundamental business problems of multi-territory exploitations within five years' time. I do believe that. Um, is the industry going to turn around? I don't know. I mean, it's a little bit like looking at television and films and... You know, any, any of the other entertainment media right now, I mean, you know, music is just one of a, you know, a vast array of opportunities that people have, you know, and if, if you look at music as being essentially a youth-oriented uh, entertainment medium and, and consumption model, I mean, that's much changed from when, you know, when people were selling vinyl or even CDs, and it's a whole different environment. You're not consuming less. You don't think there's there's less music consumption? It's just uh, you know, the I method, think method I, I actually don't know about that. It's kind of funny. Uh -huh. If you think about about you know music, you know, let's say starting in the in the, in the mid '60s, right, when you had the Beatles and you had you know these bands that were in groups that were artists that had sort of contemporaneous worldwide reach, you know, the Beatles. You know, it's hard to think of an artist today that is in the same sort of uh, space with, the, with their environment. I can't think of a single artist that you could name that would be like, everybody would say, oh yeah, I love that. Bruno them. Mars. I don't think that's true. I think Bruno Mars is big and successful, don't get me wrong. But, but he's only been out there for two years. Not, well, but not everybody knows who Bruno Mars is, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, some people probably wouldn't be able to pick him out of a lineup. So some people probably think he's a band. You know, who knows, right? Mm -hmm. um, I just, I, I think that that's changed just like you know, everything has changed. You know, I mean, you, there are people that have never seen Mad Men. There's people, I mean, that know the Game of Thrones is a huge program, never watched it, right? That didn't used to happen. You had, you know, 
because five the choices. Three. You have much fewer choices. Everybody was jammed into the same five I, channels. I agree. I agree. Right. And that, because of that, I think, I think that the cultural resonance of anything that is huge is different today than it was, you know, 50 years ago. It's just, you know, it's just the reality. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, so when you say that consumption's the same, I'm not sure. I, I don't know that it is. I think that, I think that because access is so easy to music and so varied that it, it has a, I think, a different, a different resonance in the environment, in the, in the cultural environment. If you go back and think, I mean, you know, we don't have Time Magazine anymore. I, I don't even know. I mean, I guess Newsweek went away. Maybe Time's still there. But, you know, there, there would frequently be people that were coming out of the music industry that would be on the cover of something like that, right? I don't think that's happening anymore. Well, thank you, Mel. <laughs>